Hugh, here we are in Asu Bortaloo, day two of the pre-season camp. How's it going? Hot. Uh, weather's not just brilliant, but they can't complain the facilities, the pitches, the artificial pitches, outstanding and top class. The hotel we're staying in and the, the gym we've been using, top quality. So it's uh, been a great work in two days so far. And in terms of getting some good hard work done as prep for the new season, certainly helps waking up with the sun shining in the morning, as opposed to the rain that we've had in Swansea all summer. Yeah, I think it's the first time the boys cracked the vest open from the kit bag, so it's nice to, to run in this weather. It's also hard, so the fluid intake is highly... The boys are taking a lot of fluid in because it's such a hot day, and the conditioning coach is looking after us, have to go in the shade, we can't go up to your sunbathe in. But the tough days back home, but it's double hard because the weather's so hot here. Yeah. And, of course, there's a purpose in this being here. It's prep for the new season. Game on Friday night against the Belgian national side as another stepping stone for 2016-17. How is that prep going? It's really good. A few people have come in now. A couple of youngsters are going to have a go as well Friday, I think. So it's good prep for them and a lot of players are playing. You've got to take this game as you would any like a, pre- a, a League Cup or a League Cup match. So we're prepping like it's a proper game on Friday. We had the win last weekend at the Liberty Stadium. This game this weekend, we return to Leicester next week. They're all building blocks and they're all tough ta- tests for us as we work towards Zebra the first weekend of September. Well, like Leicester, the first game, the great squad down was a tough game. The boys, I thought, played outstanding for the game, but we can't let that slip now for the next game, repeat that next week on Friday. But it's all building towards the first game of Zebra. And it's your first pre-season with the Ospreys. How are you settling in? How are you enjoying yourself? It's a standard. It's so competitive. You're, people are pushing each other to limits to be the best, and I think that's the stance for this region, is to be the best. And uh, it's just like I said, the standard of players, coaching ability. It's a bit of a shock to the system, but I'm actually enjoying it. And the boys have been welcoming. I think that's part of the reason about the traction and you making the move west, I suppose. Yeah, like I said, like you said the Ospreys will be number one. They, outside and inside the region, they're trying to push to be number one. That every player wants to succeed. They don't want to be happy coasting. That everyone's pushing themselves to the limit. And it's pushing myself. And I'm learning a lot from players and coaches. And you're looking forward to the start of the season. You've come from the Dragons. Quite early on in the season, before October's out, we've got the Dragons at the Liberty Stadium. Is that one you've got a circle around in the calendar or treat every game the same? I think treat every game the same. It'd be nice to play against some friends and enemies, but like I said, it's not going to roll people and roll over and let you have the jerseys, quality hookers here and quality players, so everyone's pushed themselves to, to play every game. In a nutshell, work hard, maybe get your rewards, but see what happens this season. Yeah, you've got to work hard. And I think what uh, Steve keeps playing is honesty. It's just honestly on the field, outside the field, so you should put your effort and you work hard, you're doing your reps and everything accurately, accurately. you never get your chance and opportunity. But like I said, there's quality hookers here and quality players that you've got to push against. Yeah.